matter of weeks. He hears the conversation. He knows what I'm talking about. We, it's us in Cash Foundation. We will support our people to death, which means whatever knowledge is available to us, the way they gave us their time and their life, we offer back the same to them. So we went in, I went in, he came out of the hospital, left hand doesn't move, the stroke has paralyzed, even the fingers could not move. Very slow, hand was like assembling. I made a system for him, now within less than five weeks, he is more or less back to full, more, full normal use of his arm and the fingers. He's using, at today he's, just loaded up one of our books again because we did some modification. And if it was normal situation, this hand goes paralyzed, it gets twisted in, and you can't carry it anymore. You become paralyzed. But now with this technology, and the video is actually on the internet because he sent me the video of how you could do, how much changes are. Yeah? So this is what the difference is. You don't need to go paralyzed because of a stroke. You don't need to die because of a cancer or prostate. You don't need to be wheelchair-bound because of MS. You don't need to be blind because of whatever defects. And surely we are negotiating. I hope soon we'll get the permission for the second and the third coma patient that we can prove if the first one wasn't just a fluke, an accident, or just happened by accident. So what we do, we go in the body. We instruct the body to go back to this original condition before... And the body just follows, but we know how to follow the pattern of the information. Is this a question of connecting with the frequencies of the body? Is this beyond frequencies? No, 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 no. It's just a matter of knowing how the information is picked up by the body. We don't use medicine. We use only water and air and the environment around the body. Most of the people who we get involved with, they only drink water from the top. We don't choose the water. We don't sell you medical water. We make a system which is fitted with all our knowledge in that uh, field of illness. You put water from the top in the cup, and nowadays we're getting away from the cups as well as slowly because now we can do it through your skin and the air you breathe. We inform the body where it has to be and how it was, and the body picks it up, and they say... MS guy walks. No, it doesn't walk. It just changes characteristics of the protein, and the protein becomes resistive. The connection gets built up, and the person walks. This Walking is a consequence of re- reconnecting the, or co- insulating the nerve. This reminds me a little bit of energy medicine. Do you know what I'm saying? Yes, but we are not in that game. We are in the plasma. We are in the state of the essence of creation. We know how things are created, and we follow that path. Energy, magnetism, Tesla, and these things are all materialistic. They are matter-based. We work on the magnetic field based on the essence of creation anywhere in the universe, not just Earth. We have developed, and now we're in the process of testing, that we don't. one of the restrictions NASA will have to go to Mars. There are seven months on the way. They're staying there a few months. They're going to be seven, eight months on the way back. They have to foresee every single drop of the water these people drink. They have to foresee every single food they might eat. They have to foresee what medicine they might need, headache, God knows whatever. Yeah? And they have to payload it to go. With our system, we don't need anything because we can get a magnetic field within the environment, change it to water, to matter as an energy, and let your body use it. So we won't carry any food. Not at least initially. So I mean, not talking nonsense because we have already run trials. We know what we can do we, and we are learning. We are learning more and more. What about getting through the Van Allen radiation belt? It doesn't matter because you create a magnetic field, you're already protected. You measure the magnetic field of the belt. You, you measure the magnetic field of the environment you're going through. Because you understand the structure of the principal matter, what you call antimatter, you decide a field slightly above that energy, which means you're stronger than what you're going into. And you create your shielding, external shielding magnetic field, to be above the area's field level. So you're always stronger. Unless you go in the total, total, total magnetic field of the principal matter, dark matter in the center, then the ball game is over, but I don't think we'll ever come to that point to get to that point. 
So if you go to a magnetic field, let's say uh, 10, you create a magnetic field for your protection of 11 and 12 strength. So you're always stronger. So these things are meaningless. You can go into deep oceans. In my video, which I left to Mr. Bill Ark to, to, to see, we don't just go down. We can increase the weight so you can submerge into a liquid environment. But when you submerge, you have a field protection. You Dad. have a total atmosphere field protection. So water never touches the body of the craft. In our space technology, we never come across, we never come in touch with the atmosphere because the field sits meter to meter beyond the boundary of the craft. So there is no contact. There is no heating. There is no radiation leak. There is no possibility of getting hit by missiles. The Navy would love you. Oh, they know. I met them. I do want me to give you the name. Officers, the guy who talked to me in Seoul, now he's part of the head of Pentagon. He was moved after I left because I gave too much information. They know what is to come. You're still alive. That's a good thing. <laughs> oh, how far, I do not know. <laughs> how far they will let us, but we carry on with research. My knowledge belongs to everybody. And that's what they know. The yeah. Americans know, the Chinese know, the Iranians know, the Belgium government knows. The only problem we have is how to limit the, what do you call it, the exposure that not many people can lose their jobs. But on the other hand, they said a lot the same thing about the computer. That's true. When the computers came, now it's the same, it's a transition. We cannot build 10 million, 100 billion systems tomorrow morning. Even to make these systems, we need people. So it creates job. You understand? Yes, but the ultimate fight is about the control of technology and the economy of scale and the profitability for the companies that get involved. It's the same paradigm problem. And so it's something that needs to be satisfied as part of a line item to engage the players who are at the helm and controlling what is right now to be willing to let go and participate in the new solution and direction, universal direction this is going. I am, I am not the first scientist who's faced that, and I won't be the last. That's true. Uh, so somehow the only disruptive thing about this technology is it goes back so down to the foundation of the creation. And it, because you go to the source, it's so simple that we don't need multinationals to do it. You can do it in the back of your own carriage very soon. So can we have our own energy at our own homes? Read my forums. I used to be... <laughs> i tell you something very funny. I used to be participating in NASA Advanced Concept Forum. And I start teaching on NASA Advanced Concept Forum of NASA that I'm the only scientist who's been kicked out of the forum because I was teaching too good to the NASA scientists what to do. They start questioning NASA's operation. <laughs> Why don't we do this? So they said, get rid of the guy. You know DARPA? Yes. DARPA, I had the forum, what do you call it, controller, Sending me an email, I've been asked by DARPA to disconnect you. Please, don't do this. And then five seconds, they instructed me, I have to take you off. DARPA knows what we do. I have no question. I'm sure DARPA knew before any of them. Yeah. When I have, I, I didn't know who DARPA was, actually. <laughs> when, when the moderator of the forum sent me an email that DARPA is asking me to remove you, please understand, yeah? I said, who is DARPA? And then I found that DARPA's budget is more than NASA. And DARPA employs more black money for into research than anybody else. Indeed. So I understood why. So do you have helicopters above your house yet? Oh, we had it. It's on my forum. Read it. <laughs> I arrived. No, no, it's serious. I arrived. No, this is not a joke. I know it's I not. Arrived. I arrived on 21st of January this year from Tehran. I was in Tehran for seven days. I came through Paris through to home in Belgium. I arrived home about 10 o'clock at night. Next morning, about 11 o'clock, 12 o'clock, I could hear helicopters, but they're very low frequency helicopters. I said to my wife, there are helicopters over the house because we had them before with the radiation detectors. So my wife said, there's nothing. Uh, it goes on a few minutes. I said, there are helicopters sitting on top of the house. So I go out with my wife and my child, open the door there on top of my house with all the radiation detectors underneath of him. Belgium, naval helicopters. 
ja? 